Hi everyone, I wanted to show you the process of making my new headpiece. It was very rewarding in the end, so I hope you enjoy the video. The first step will be to make your mold. Mine was 3D printed. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can pay to have these type of things made for you and then delivered. You can also make your model out of EVA foam and cover it in clay. 3D printing took quite a long time to get all of the pieces printed out, but once they were finished all being printed out, I assembled them to make sure that all of my lines lined up and all the sizing was correct. I bought Gorilla Gel Super Glue, and then I super glued all my pieces together, and then I used white duct tape to hold them all in place while they dried. I individually sanded every piece before assembling it and then put it all together. I used this Bondo filler glazing in spot putty to fill in the cracks. It's a really nice medium that will fill in all your 3D prints really smooth and then you just sand it. I did quite a few layers, filling in the cracks and filling in spots. I used a plastic spatula and a silicone spatula to smooth out the Bondo glaze and spot putty. I would wait for each layer to dry and then I would sand it down and then add some more. You want to add enough that it makes it nice and smooth and make sure you have no cracks and let each layer dry completely before you start the next. I then primed everything with just some regular primer. I like to get a primer that is um, not too inexpensive because you want something that's going to fill in cracks and gaps and that's easily sandable. And it was cold out when I was assembling and painting everything and sanding, so I had to use my hair dryer quite a bit to keep it warmed up. I then used hot glue and my glue gun to put on the remaining pieces, which are just the leku. I wanted to use hot glue so that way if I needed to break the leku off while I was removing my headpiece, that it would be easily done. So that's why I'm not using super glue here. I'm just using hot glue. It's a lot easier to take them off. You just heat it up and pop them back off if you need to. So once I got all my hot glue on there, I made sure to line it up. If it doesn't get perfectly lined up at this point. You can heat it up with maybe a hair dryer. Don't use a heat gun though, not on plastic prints. But you can use a hair dryer so that you can uh, break the bonds of that glue and reposition it if you need to. I made sure to use plenty of hot glue. If it leaks out the sides when you squish it together, you can always just peel it off. Once everything was lined up, I'd stick a piece of duct tape on it, just so it could cure fully without moving. Definitely take your time and make sure that you get everything lined up perfectly. As 
you can see, one of mine didn't line up, so I had to heat it back up and reposition it. I am reattaching the back leku because when I wasn't looking, it slid off the table and popped right off. All right, so on to paint. I have a few coats of primer on here, and now I'm using my acrylic paint to go over it and just add some texture. I'm using yellow because I had a bunch of yellow paint, so you can use any color you want. Just I don't recommend using white because you're going to want to be able to see that your what color your model is when you go to put the latex on. So now I'm referencing some pictures for Ahsoka Rebels, painting on the stripes in brown, like just because I had plenty of brown paint, that's why I used that color. It started giving me Pikachu vibes when uh, I started painting it. But this is just cheap acrylic paint that I'm using. The yellow is flat, the brown is satin. Now that all my stripes are done, I'm going to go make sure that they're to my liking and then I'm going to add a flat light brown over top. This step is going to add like a, a dimensional look to the finish of my latex headpiece. And there we go. My model is all finished and it's ready to start the first layers of latex. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.